All right, so we are live. Hopefully, everyone can hear us. Um, we are currently in Seattle at PAX Prime 2015. I am Roland. To my right is Prometheus, and to my left is Charlemagne. We are currently feasting out on pizza. But it's just significantly larger than we ever this expected. It's huge. Yeah, I mean, even. We're introducing Charlemagne to the obesity crisis. Center. Yeah. <laughs> He's currently texting 911 for help. Yeah, uh, I have some diabetes already. So oh, my arteries are still. And the box is about as tall as I am, and I'm pretty damn tall, so there's that. Um, so let's get started, though. Some interesting stuff. Yeah. And this is uh, Charles's first PAX ever and his first gaming convention. So while I eat my pizza, tell us, tell us about that. Was it what you expected? It was expected everything you hoped and dreamed for. Are you going to go home yeah. and cry because you're going to be sad it's over? Yeah, it's going to take me a little while to get rid of the smell that I've been so accustomed to for the past few days. Nerds, nerds yeah. everywhere. I feel like deodorant should be mandatory, but otherwise, it was a lot bigger than I expected. Like the whole convention was taken up, but then there were uh, the box is about as tall as mine, and I'm pretty down. Oh, pink dog. I know <laughs> I'm wrong. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, there's different uh, conferences and different. Uh, Hotels as well. That was really the first pass ever. Uh, the only panel I really wanted to go to. Well, I get my picture of the panel. Tell us about that. And and what you expect I didn't want to go because when I got there, they were already full. It was just, it was entirely packed. I couldn't get in. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely some of the more popular ones. You got to get a preemptive by a good hour. Or yeah, like the moderator panel. I think that was really, really popular. Um, there were two people. Two people, people, people shout out. Two guys <laughs> yeah. from yeah. Yeah. and uh, who else went with you? Um, my lady friend and Chris Babam. Uh, Victor didn't even show up. No, he was like, sorry, you guys. Some people just are scrub mentors and they don't want to bet out. So. Shut up. Anyway, um, yeah, the real appeal for me coming to PAX this year wasn't even PAX itself. It was me in the community, which I got to do a great deal of. Some of you are very, very talented. And I think we'll go into that a bit later. Yeah. But uh, yeah. I had an amazing time. I really do hope I can come back next year. And uh, Prometheus, what are your thoughts? This is your second PAX now. So what do you think? Uh, this one definitely went off better than the last one. Um, I, I kind of planned it more, uh, paid attention to, to what uh, panels were when. I got to see some really cool stuff. Uh, around the convention floor, I got to see uh, a game I'm really looking forward to called Dreadnoughts. Big, mm -hmm. uh, big ship, simplified spaceship combat game. Uh, saw a bit of Halo 5, saw some uh, Star Wars Battlefront, super excited about that game mm -hmm. very soon. Uh, and I also saw some cool panels, um, I think the theme this year was kind you of... You learned how to moderate? I did learn how to moderate, so some of you people in Off Topic should... Some, some of you people in Off Topic should feel better that you moderated and now it's slightly more skilled. No, I can Educated. Uh, but my, I think my favorite thing, oh, I got to meet Felicia Day. Oh, yeah. She did a sign here. She was all day. Uh, but my favorite thing was Uber did a promo with Mad Max video games, uh, video game, and had a, these Mad Max Ubers driving around. So, like, yeah. really rusted cars with, like, shit strapped to them and deck Engines out. on the outside. Engines on the outside. Yeah. Oh, it was gorgeous. I got some pictures. I'll throw up a thread. And the cross oh, plug. Shameless plug. Shameless plug. I'm going to make sure Jeff sends those to birds so we get them in this update too. We'll so yep. there will be some cool pictures in this update. Not including me in the community photo because I missed that. Yeah. Because of you. But, but that's okay. We'll we got a shame. And that's the first year we've ever gotten yeah, a that. name in the community photo, which is amazing. Yeah. Um, so for the record books. Yeah, no, actually. We'll get Bean in there and we'll Photoshop, a poorly Photoshop and wax and film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For those of you that uh, didn't make it, don't feel too bad. Uh, try to make it next year because every year I've been coming to PAX now. So it's like sixth, hmm. not fifth, fifth PAX, fifth PAX. And every year they get better. So, mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely cool to make it out when you can, but never get too upset because the next year is going to be a heck of a lot better. It just always is. Um, <laughs> no, no, we're not paying attention right. to that. Yeah. The worst poker face. I know. I, I was, I was away for that. Charlie made a ruined it for me. So uh, <laughs> you, you mentioned earlier the community meetup, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just going to say that some of the cosplay that showed up was probably oh the coolest stuff I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, you helped out a little bit with that. I did, yeah. So you want to you wanna talk about that? I was, um, so I got there early, as usual, fashionably early. And so like a half hour? Yeah, no, three hours early. But uh, when I first got there, it was... There wasn't really many people there, just a couple of community members. 
an employee or two. But then I kind of got cut up in it all. Like they're signing uh, release forms and all that. So I was only focusing on that. And then I turn around, I see about 300 people just massed around there. You had a math class, which was Dato's uh, clan, just hanging out on the hill. And you had uh, Petra Venge walking through the crowd to get her photo taken. Like, it was amazing. There were so many of you there. I spoke to a lot of you. Convention security freaking out. Yeah, about right. People subtly like crossing the windows. And, yeah. Uh, I let a little hunter use my ghost in the pictures. Mm. So that was pretty nice. Get nice. a little golden gun and everything. But uh, yeah, the shank that was there. Shank, yeah. There was an HD screen in it. No shit. Yeah, that's how you could see where he was. You going. needed to see somehow. Yeah, it was. I mean, that's dedication, though. That's, that's one of the chief things to put together. And then yeah. there was the. Vex. The Vex was my favorite. That was oh, impressive. It had the glowing juice oh, box. What was her name? I have it written down. Um, yeah, so gorgeous costume. Uh, this really tall chick. She said she was, said she was 6'2". Mm -hmm. But you have this gorgeous Vex costume. With this, uh, the, the crown was a big headpiece with a glowing red eye. Yeah. It was a uh, hobgoblin? No, just a goblin. Uh, just a goblin. Um, fantastic. Uh, we'll get you guys some pictures. We'll throw them up. And I know Bungie got some official pictures. Yeah, yeah, they were, you know, look forward to seeing that. Um, actually, IGN had an exclusive for the pack. So they did a whole cosplay video, but they had one just for uh, Destiny cosplays. Oh, really? So check that out. It's a little self promotion right there. Um, Same as the plug. Yeah, yeah, you might do it all yeah. the time. It's fine. Um, what else, though? Lord Shax was very impressive. Then there was a few custom made guardians. So, like, uh, someone had his own warlock, kind of with, like an elven warlock. A bunch of lot hunters. Gotta represent the hunters. Yep. Warlocks. I, did, did you guys see any uh, faction specific cosplay? Moments? Yeah, there was a bit. I think it was nice. Good, good representing that. New monarchy to one. Yeah. Right um, yeah. 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 New monarchy. New Me monarchy too. is great, but uh, so you know, the speaker was there. Best orbit is dead orbit. So. Uh, uh God, you. Yeah, that. you're orbiting because you're dead husks. Well, you you can't are. die if you're already dead orbiting. That's all I'm saying. Well, guardians get revived. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Anyway. Uh, yeah, there was a really cool Titan who had air conditioning pretty much built into his suit. Nice. <laughs> so, so that was How really did he manage that? He had like a fan in his helmet. Because mm. the Titan's a bulkier armor. Sure. So yeah. 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 There was an, I saw an Eris. There was an Eris. Eris is there, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, not enough to meet him, but the day before, uh, Moros, or Marosav, the Queen of the Reef, mm -hmm. she was around. That was really nice. Yeah. Did you guys see any other cosplay outside of Destiny? I saw an amazing cloud strike. He had a huge buster sword in a wood, so you could kind of wield it. That was pretty good. I some, uh, saw some girls who were doing uh, stuff from Ruby, mm -hmm. um, Yang, and... Long Assassin's Creed cosplay. Yes, that's always pretty popular. Mm -hmm. uh, then you've had your, your Leia. We have our own there was okay. Princess Leia. I was shocked by the severe lack of Slay Lands. I only saw one. Did you see Hi. over there? Yeah, she's over there. You want to show it off? I was also disappointed by the severe lack of slave male lands. <laughs> I saw a few dead ones, but you know, next year, just for you, mm -hmm. if you help me get a metal bikini, pizza girl. Hi. She delivered our pizzas. Yeah. You didn't walk around the box. These are the pizza delivery ladies we have here in Seattle. Yeah, I'm trying to ask her for that though. Oh my gosh. With the bad back Cooper's, right? Just yeah. very special little. So, what did you like about Pax? What was your favorite thing? Ooh, tough call. Uh, I love seeing all the different cosplays. There's not a whole lot here by comparison to some other conventions, but I I still thought that those that came out did a really, really good job with what they did. Very talented people. Only the really hardcore cosplayers really came out this month or this Ooh. year, but it was good. I, this was actually the first time I'd ever seen a cosplay, so you could actually go and have your yes. cosplay Fixed up if you forgot your safety really? pins, if I you forgot hair pins. That. Yeah, oh, it was that's fantastic. It was really cool. It was right on the uh, like the third floor, uh -huh. right above the entrance, and it was just big. It was sponsored by someone, but a big corner booth and a little flashy red lights. It's a cost on. They had oh, cool. hot glue guns, uh, so new they had red. flyers and yeah. hammers for mm -hmm. like metalworking stuff. Yeah, everything. It was it was pretty good. And as an engineer. I love that stuff. Like, I would buy gaming and <laughs> engineering and make my own costume. But, but it's cool. Oh, also, I saw a bunch of really good Witcher cosplays. Siri, Yennefer, and Triss were there. They're at the Witcher area. They were very good. Mm -hmm. 
I saw quite a few Liliana's from the Dragon Age. I did. Yeah, it's almost full. Well, I saw um, a, a shell from Portal. <laughs> yeah, it's on a male shell. Yeah. I think my favorite though, there were there was Mario and Luigi running around. Really simple, I know, right? But they each one had their like miniature in uh, balloons, like balloon animal, like Mario and Luigi, and they were. They were so tiny and adorable, it was like hard not to be impressed. <laughs> it was so simple, but it was great. But mm. yeah. Along with the small little hunter that was at the community meetup, mm. there's also a small little master chief. Mm. He's running a little auto rifle swinging around. That was pretty nice. Yeah, I didn't see him this year, but definitely last year there was um, when they were doing some of the Halo promotions, I think for MCC. Yeah. Um, there was a big master chief from 343, and there was also a mini chief. Like one of the developers' kids, kids like yeah, yeah. sixty-year-old kid in this tiny, like super intricate, like studio-built right. Master Chief costume, and it was one of the coolest things. Oh, did you get booted? I'm so mature. Uh, no, T, T for T now. Mm -hmm. five. Oh, but I'm one. I don't play League of Legends too much, but there are a few good League of Legends cosplays. By too much, I don't play it at all. But um, yeah, I, 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 I watched the trailers. They have good trailers. I saw it on Twitch once. Yeah, that's okay. there's some good cosplays you can get out of that. Mm -hmm. But I saw a father and daughter doing the big bear and the little girl. So there's like it's this awesome. little girl just skipping around. There's this massive hulking bear walking on mm -hmm. her. That was, that was pretty good. Dibbles. Dibbles? That's very nice for that. I don't know exactly. Really I, I watched League all of PAX last year. Because that's what I volunteered to do. And even after four straight days of watching, I still have no idea. I remember you were miserable, but you did see. I wasn't miserable. I did enjoy. You looked miserable. I did see Carl from The Walking you Dead. You did now. see Carl from The Walking Dead, but um, was he just as whiny? He wasn't as easy. As that. No, but a child. Admittedly, like I was staring at this kid because I'm like, that guy looks familiar. Who is he? He's like looking back at me like this guy is staring at me, <laughs> and I'm like, I took the cosplayers are used to getting that though. I but it wasn't a costume. You're wearing the suit. Oh, it was the actor. The actor. The actor. Oh, wow. oh, wait, the actual actor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. You're wearing the strong female character shirt. We have the strong. It should be an arrow pointing. Yeah. I am a strong female character. Cortana does not. Star. Yeah, that's true. Mm. Cortana, the, the, the tag, or Cortana, the cosplayer? Or Con Cortana, I didn't see any Cortana cosplays. I didn't either. That is no, the Cortana point. from the Bungie community. I feel like the day that there are no Cortana cosplayers is a very sad day. Well, hell, what you're doing next year. Yep. Cortana cosplay? Mm -hmm. We'll see. Blue that would be blue. epic. Are you kidding? No, the goal is actually uh, forge actual metal pieces for her slave machine because. Learning how to do oh, aluminum. Yeah. Is that blood. actually metal? No. no, this is this is latex. However, apparently. Um, <laughs> In the actual film, <laughs> anytime there was an action scene and she had to be running, they did latex hmm. for the metal pieces. But when she's stationary, then she actually had metal pieces for the metal pieces. That must kill your neck. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard, but. And so next year for me, I, I skipped the choker this year. Oh, no, uh, we're making the pieces and I'm going to wear this one. Oh, Slave Leia male right there. That's oh. what I've been waiting for. I'll watch. I'll run away after. We're 10 out of 10. We'll do it again. Mm -hmm. Crossplay is okay too. Come on now. Exactly. I saw a good female like or Zelda or whatever. You know what I mean? It was a female being linked, calling herself Zelda. As a pun. Yeah, as, as a, a joke. Yeah. Child man, by the way, I am you. so confused right now. It's okay. I yeah. think I know what you mean. But basically, it was a female link, but because of the misconception of yeah, the character, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zelda yeah. is not named Zelda. I don't know. He she called. I don't know. She's talking to herself. I've been up. That's anyway. And that's that's up. I've been working long hours. Forgive me. Um, long. Yeah, you were holding out like that. Thumbs up. Yeah, how was enforcing? Um, it's great, actually. I recommend anyone watching if you want to come to PAX. Uh, good luck on getting badges. Uh, best way to do it is to enforce, and it's also a lot of fun. You work about six six hour shift is what I regularly work this year, but you get a free pass. You get to go see the convention. You get to help out with the convention. You meet a lot of cool people. It's definitely fun. That said, I was exhausted after every <laughs> shift. I didn't even see the whole expo floor this year. Yeah, uh, the expo floor was great. It was better than last. Yes, yeah, so tell me about that. Uh, what was your favorite part? Because I only saw half of it, and then I went home. Favorite part: um, the 
I like the way it was set up better this year. Last year was just very uh, grid, just uh, boot, 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 boot. It was this year, amazing. The elaborate dudes walking yeah, around. Yeah, it, it just felt immersive. Like it, it was yeah. designed better. Uh, and really what it reminded me of PAX East, uh, hmm. I did that earlier this year. A uh, little different venue because that just has one massive convention hall where Prime, you have uh, four or five smaller ones. That seven are, venues in total. Seven venues in total. We, like, we're, we're so like, out of space. We have seven different spaces right. across the aisle. Yeah. Uh, so so uh, you know, a little harder to do, but they did a fantastic job with it. Um, and like I said, you know, Dreadnought was gorgeous. Just, just the artwork that they have uh, was yeah. great. Um, but the Dark Souls thing? The Dark the Souls. Spurting. Yeah, they had this giant fountain about 20 feet wide. I got some pictures of it from up. Uh, and it was this dead body, the sword in it, and it was, it was like straight, high pressure Gears of War esque blood, black blood shooting about like 20 feet up in the air. Mm. It was gaudy, but it was terrific. I approved, yeah. Uh, and literally larger than life. Like the body, oh, yeah, like that the, the physical skeletons in the, in the statues were larger than humans. It was an enormous mountain. Uh, yeah. Uh, but it's just gaming wise, it was great. Uh, saw Dreadnought. Oculus was better. Uh, I did catch a glimpse, glimpse of Oculus, I did not really check it out. Yeah, the lines were too long. Yeah, lines were uh, Pax East, they were four hours. I can't imagine mm-hmm. getting shorter here. Mm-hmm. But uh, uh, then we had the, the community bar crawl, which some of us attended. That was fun. Which one, those 21 and up. I got to I was see. <laughs> got to I see, wasn't. Got to see uh, True Underdog, Shacker, uh, DMG, uh, Cortana, Terrific. Seeing Shacker is in itself. Seeing Shacker is an experience in itself. Yeah. Uh, that guy's, he's a fun you guy. You go on a journey. <laughs> yeah. Always great spending time with those guys. Uh, also saw Foman, yeah. uh, Chris Babam, Anidin, Anidian. Uh, it was all the, not all the mentors and ninjas, but a lot of them. About a good half of them. Mm-hmm. Those that are over 21. Half of the those that are active. Yeah. Anyways. Uh, so it's great. Uh, it's been... Yeah. Us, not these two, because we are the cooler ones of the community. Yeah, we got to have a nice lunch with all the other mentors and ninjas who are here. It was very tasty. Yeah, we went out to Mecca right outside of Budget Studios in Bellevue. Mm-hmm. It's about a 20 minute cab ride. Yeah, it was nice. Though. Glorious. I got uh, a picture of their. I love their, their entrance building where they have all the, the games that they've made. Oh my god. Uh, Who was it? High Lobos? Yeah, yeah. High Lobos? No, no, no. There's one before it. Uh, you can see it all. Okay. okay. The, the word isn't there, but you can see two ping pong paddles. Oh, and oh god. It blends perfectly at High Lobos. Oh, I, 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 I bet it must have to do with the uh, copyright issues, right? But maybe. Yeah, so it's like an op- operating mm-hmm. Desert Storm, Pathways. All with Destiny. Uh, yeah, all the way up to yeah, Halo, all through the Halos, and then uh, this year, yeah, Destiny. Our last year didn't have it, so it's cool to see that. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna peace out, guys. <laughs> Later. All right. Enjoy your nap. <laughs> all right. Is that enough about that was one slice. That was one slice. <laughs> I feel like I've had a meal. How much do we have? Yeah, like, like three quarters. Large in Seattle. Large. That's not normal. I told you, this is not normal. Bring the box over. Try, try to give the people a taste. You just flip up the lid and it's yeah, just... like no, wait. open the lid. Open the lid. Okay. See how big the box is in comparison to my head. This thing is enormous. <laughs> it's very large. Yeah. Welcome to Pizza Place. I ordered a large pizza. And I walk in. <laughs> we almost ordered two. I call him and order a large pizza, and I walk in. Like that'd be thirty-two dollars. <laughs> this thing better be crusted in gold and wipe my ass when I'm done. It's <laughs> thirty-two bucks, but yeah, it's big. 29 inch pizza. You're definitely not going to get hungry once I leave. No. Yeah, um, Matt, you have left over dinner. I right just packed on a few pounds in uh, preparation for winter. Yeah. But hibernate. So, you know, it's You're taking things. Yeah, yeah, just pack on pounds and I'll just digest that instead of mm. eating while I'm going to take it. Exactly. Oh, hey, look at that segue. Taking King comes out of. Oh. What, what's today's date? The 31st. 31st. Thir- okay, so 15 days. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my us. god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there have been a few Twitch reveals since. And a video came out yesterday. And a video came out. Well, Today. I not caught that one. Yet. yesterday. Was that the trailer? Yeah, the trailer with cool rock music. Okay, I saw that this one. Okay, 
Side note, I love Led Zeppelin. I love Rolling Stones. I'm out of we no, that was intentional. Oh, you're a jerk. Yeah, we just don't want you in here. It's supposed to be two of us. So yeah. Um, Briefly. But does anyone else feel like it's a little cliche <laughs> nowadays that every game trailer like features the Rolling Stones or Led Zeppelin or? Well, that's because like, they're freaking amazing. No, <laughs> I'm not saying they're not. I just I'm a fan of some originality in my. Well, life. we do get that. There's um. Recently, with, feature like Dado does Destiny singing his rendition. Oh my god, can we do that for the next one? Maybe. Yeah, well, we gotta do this. Yeah, I'm expecting more console to sing Friday by Rebecca Black. God, that'd be amazing. Friday, 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 Tuesday, Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. No, it comes out on Friday. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, the 15th is a Friday. No, oh, a Tuesday. spoiler alert. Right. What day is the Friday? Okay, I will take your word for it. I feel like you're wrong. No, I looked, maybe I looked at the wrong month earlier. Because in Europe, it comes out on Friday. That's when game releases are. I mean, I would expect Tuesday, but it's a Monday. Oh a no, it's a Tuesday because tomorrow. Oh, 50. Order. Sorry, yeah. Okay, so, sorry, I was wrong. It is a Tuesday. See, so, I'm a mentor. I, don't know I can switch my order then to priority shipping. Perfect. Huh? Anyway. Anyways, so, what were we talking about? We were talking about Chicken King, Bungie, but we kind of... Oh, yeah. No, so 15 days. Um, there have been some Twitch reveals since then. Yeah. Personally, uh, anyone who's been watching these podcasts knows I'm very uh, up and down when it comes to Destiny. We have viewers? Uh, I think like, we have, like, two. There's one right here. We're all here. Right now, we're it's one viewer. And I, think, uh, I think that's Burrito. Shout out to you, Burrito. Burrito. Um, but I'm really up and down when it comes to Destiny. Um, but I am really, really excited for the Taken King. Yeah. It looks and like a major step in the right way. Oh, yeah. So, uh, what are you guys most excited for in the Taken King, then? I think just getting that old experience, the 1 through 20 from Destiny, that, that, it changed the way you play. You're like, oh, damn, I just got this new hand cam. I've never tried that out before. Yeah. So, we're going to get that now. Uh, we've had two side arms in Destiny so far. We've seen a few more in the trailers. And then we have swords now. I can't wait to try out swords. And I didn't know that. There's actually like your swords are thing. New heavy weapons. Just swords. I mean, so when I first found this out, I made a fantastic uh, post in the forum. It was like uh, recreating that scene in Lord of the Rings. Like you had my sword. It's like you also had my sword. It's like. We all have swords because that's the only thing everyone ever has. You see an axe. No, it's a sword. Man, everyone just uses a sword. Yeah. No, no, give anything else. But you have a hammer, I guess. We do. Yeah. That's pretty close. Close enough. Yeah. It's, it's, like, like, a, it's like, like, like a blunt axe kind of thing. It is. Yeah. Well, you, it's, it's on fire. Right. It's going to yeah. hurt. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get hit by fire. If you're dead, it won't matter. <laughs> but, but yeah, so stuff like that. The um, Not the grind itself, but the experience through brand new content. You yeah. know, actually, I think I. I hate grinding. I hate grinding more than anyone. But, but yeah, don't grind on uh, Orlan and he'll hate you. He doesn't go close. Actually, he's up you can grind on me anytime, babe. Um, I'm almost excited for grinding through to level forty because I hit level thirty-four and then I just I'm at the point where the only thing I do in Destiny is grind out Grimoire, and that's not fun. Fair enough. Um, there's nothing else for me to do in that game. So if I like constantly getting like little awards, like mm. a dog, like I sat down, good job, have a have some kibble, right? <laughs> um, and kibble, kibble. That's a treat for a dog. Yeah. That's, well, yes. Yeah, it's food. Food. Dog no, it's dog food, food. But like, uh, it's I mean, food. if you train started, your dog right, you yeah. Like food. It's, yeah. It's, it's, anyways, <laughs> we, we we digress. I. I'm going to enjoy, you know, getting from 34 to 35 and 36 to 37. Yeah. I'm also um, curious about the light level. The new yes. light level. 40? Yeah, it does at some point, though. Not right away. Yeah. You're I, and I, I say this full well, knowing that once the Taken King comes out, I'm going to be swearing about the grind and how much oh, I yeah. But at the same time, deep down, know that I'm actually kind of enjoying the constant, like, reward for actually playing. That's mm. not Grimoire score because I need a hundred Rumble match wins and I am way too hot and cold when it comes to Crucible to ever get that in any reason. Yeah, I'm still working on that. Yeah, the, the DLC blankets and air conditioning were a little far away. So yeah. Yeah, secure that, but yeah. I'm personally excited for new cinematics. Oh, I'm my a God. sucker for cinematics. Bungie cinematics, too. Bungie cinematics are always great. And uh, 
just watching the trailer, that giant ship come in. Uh, the Dreadnought, or the Dreadnought. It was gorgeous, and I, I want to eat it up. I want more of it. I would pay for simply 60 hours of cinematics in that game. Yeah. I would just throw my money at the screen for that. So you just want them to make a full feature. 60, yeah. That's, that's yeah. way longer than a feature film. 60 <laughs> hours. Hey, he said 60 minutes. Oh, I know. I said I'm <laughs> hours. <laughs> hours. I meant minutes. I meant okay, 60 uh, hours. Just one hour uh, loop to time. Oh, yeah. Uh, Okay, you listening, Bungie? Come to me right there. But um, yeah, one thing I really like that we've seen so far is we've seen a hint of the Dreadnought's massive, like explosive blast thing. But what we've also seen, also seen is the director, when you fly into the Dreadnought, there's that massive area around us that there's nothing. So that, like the cinematic, the direct uh, effect into the story itself. Which, like, obviously it should, but it's just a nice little touch to see that on the director. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't dealt with that much. I don't actually know what you're, I don't know what that looks like yet, but he's not. When you go to a planet, you fly him. Yeah. When you do that for a Saturn, when you go to a planet, Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I have seen that, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant, like, the map for the Dreadnought itself. Mm -hmm. I'm like, did we blow a hole in the Dreadnought? Is that mm -hmm. why? I mean, I know we, we blow it off, but to an extent, at least. Actually, no, we're not. We don't want to. The Woken are flying in in that one cutscene and there are explosions all yeah, over. We blow it off to some extent. Well, we're trying, um, in the strike we just saw in the last switch stream, the Cabal all over. You yeah. should watch. The Cabal were trying to blow the Dreadnought and we were trying to stop them because it has valuable information. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to blow it off, off but okay. it did get blown off to some extent. It did, yes. The Cabal ship went straight into it. And then the Woken went pew 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 yeah. Those sounds. Yeah. <laughs> we should so, do sound effects for Destiny. I don't think we should. I don't think so. We, yeah. we struggled just remembering the like thematic music to it. Oh, yeah, we did the Hunger Games thing. <laughs> yeah. Great right. combination. That's it. Yeah. That's the little triad. That is exactly what it is. It is. Yeah, I listened to it for the podcast. Yeah. Just to remind yourself yeah. to put your hands together. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've seen so many games kind of like, okay, right now I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. So we talked about PAX itself taking okay. care. What's next on the list that we could write? I didn't make a list. We're pulling this out of our hats. Okay. What's your favorite thing to do around the city? We're here in glorious Seattle. In oh, oh. Um, getting lost. Ah, uh, scrub. Because I'm from Canada. And everything is different. The font on the signs is different. Oh my god. I was going down the highway with uh, Annie and Chris, the two other mentors, and everything was just so strange. <laughs> it felt like I was in a different country. I was in a whole new country. It was terrible. <laughs> it was awful. Yeah. What do you enjoy doing around? Uh, I saw a space needle at night. That was cool. That oh, yeah? actually is a pretty good cool thing. When I went on top of the the needle and looked out the city. It's nothing like a needle. It has one on the top. So is it also that's just the needle? What's the rest of it? In space? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the rocket ship. Right. Uh, that you was have to go back to the World's Fair and ask. And the, uh, the fish market. <coughs> Delicious food. So good. Can you stop calling it the fish market? It's called Pike Place. Oh my god. It's Pike Place, Pike Place market. market where they sell fish. fish. It's also a vehicle in Destiny. It's Pike Place Market. Okay. Good. Or you can just call it Pike Place. Yeah, see, I don't have pretty good food. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I had a massive chicken pot pie. Is all the food in Seattle massive? <laughs> no. The chicken pot pie I had yesterday was huge. You just haven't gone to any classy restaurant. People in Seattle, they have. They have to balance out the other side of America. <laughs> you see all the heavy people there, and then all the thin people. Maybe that for us. It was too thick time in LA. Yeah. Exactly. I was going to say it's because we're all so depressed from. Clouds and just eat comfort food. No, I'm sitting today. That, that said, I love yeah. the clouds. It rained all those tax. I like rain too. I was looking at this. This, this uh, the storm we've had is the single biggest summer storm we've ever had in Seattle. Like seriously, that was nothing. That was like a drizzle. That's like every other for, 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 for summer. That's like every other week in Ohio. Winter we yeah. have pretty <laughs> shitty storms, but for summer that was like a it rained for two weeks straight. <laughs> oh my god. god. The only reason in my house we have a temperate climate. It's nice here. Ridiculous. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. And I'm just trying to Are you feeling that. okay? I'm feeling okay. No, but the um the community meetup is definitely much different from that picture. Cosmo. Yeah, Cosmo's a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> What's that make you? A uh, person who volunteers for a nerd. Uh-huh. <laughs> so mega nerd. Yes. Volunteer a volunteer nerd. nerd, yeah. No, that's what I say. What's his excuse is genetic? What? At least his excuse is genetic. Genetic? genetic. Working for Bungie is genetic? Well, if you're not a volunteer, then it must not be must be a nature thing. But shut up. It's a gen oh my god. It was a bad joke. It was, it was, it was, it was a really bad Sorry, I'm smarter than all of you guys. I don't know. We don't, we don't have this contest. He's a good guy. I met him, I had a good conversation with him, and uh, also met his wife. He's really nice. I didn't know that was his wife. I thought yeah. just someone hanging out with us. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, you're just sitting back there? Okay, that's fine. So everyone who hangs out around Cosmo is now his wife. His wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, Deej, we have a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> Your <laughs> 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 uh, are you doing okay? I'm struggling a little bit. <laughs> yeah, um, over it. I saw a lot of people that I didn't expect to see. I saw a lot of people from IGN yeah. in my hotel. That was surprising. You stayed at the Sharon, right? I did, yeah. All the big ones stay at the Sharon because I'm sure. right next to the convention. It makes sense, yeah. I just, I got you like, don't have to walk. You just jump out the window and you're like, I'm sure there. What? Ah! Uh, no, I got it really early. I, if you get it early, so. Yeah, I checked like a, a week or two ago before I, obviously before I came here, and the entire thing of what I'm paying was almost one night. It just went so hot. So, so good. Like next year, you gotta be on top of your How early? game. Because I, I looked in like February, and things were still. I don't know. Maybe I got it. I mean, at least the homewoods was sold out. I don't really check around. Oh, huh. you well, should pack tonight. Oh, you know what it was? Because PAX, I got it right when PAX gets a couple floors just for people who are going to PAX. Right. So that's what I did. So there's probably a deal when I got it. Then after, it just went crazy expensive. Well, that's. So those floors they sell when the tickets go on sale. Yeah, is that what you got? I didn't get on the floor, but yeah. Well, I mean, like a room on the. Yeah, floor. I got it through on peak, whatever the pack thing is. Oh, sweet, yeah. 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 So I got this place separate. This Ooh, place right. is nice. Airbnb. I like it. Nice. It's really far away. Um, it's like five blocks. It's more than five blocks. It's maybe it's seven blocks. He's lazy. But yeah, I've been there. standing on my feet for seven hours a day. Okay, six. Hey, six, with Mad Max Ubers, you have no room to play. I'm a broke college student. I can't afford Ubers everywhere. Well, that's why you've been my butler. Okay. I've been your housewife because I make <laughs> delicious dinners every single day. There was peanut butter in that chicken. Yeah, and how did it taste? It was good. Yeah. Thank you. For peanut butter coated chicken grilled on like one pan that we use all weekend. Okay, so pretty good. This uh, this uh, studio apartment's been nice. The kitchen is a piece of shit. There is <laughs> there's like one pot, one pan, and they're they're smaller than the plates we're using right now. It's ridiculous. You can't cook shit in that kitchen, which would have been okay. But the way I'm paying for my stay this weekend. Is by cooking prom dinner every night, so there's that. And Jen, but she's trying to sleep. She's just no big <laughs> <street. laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she, she just didn't wine. Wine. We, we look over there, she's just holding a glass and pouring wine. He's so wine slave land. You know what? I'm sure that's what happens. Please don't choke on the pizza. Or the wine. <laughs> Wine's okay, so you can pop that up easier. I think your face is the color of the wine right now. <laughs> And you can have the sheets are white, no one else it out. It's okay, the deposits and problems. Perfect. Oh, oh now she lit for Okay, now let's talk about the community. We, we had right, a community meetup. We, meet we had a community meetup. We did a community meetup. Yeah. Some of the one. Shut up, I missed the picture, I know. I was helping. But, but yeah, and so there's the community ball, bar crawl, there's a couple of those. Then there's the community lunch. The community lunch was good. I got to meet so many people that I'd only known by their usernames. I got to meet so many people I didn't even know existed at all. Yeah. And that's not a bad thing. That's like great. Yeah, Caboose is hyperactive. And Caboose is hyperactive. Yes. Oh, man. He's their biggest fan. We went to lunch with him yesterday. Was he wearing like bungee everything? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. So, so did he get talking about, did he used to work for bungee? I don't know. He, he was talking about, like, the way he was talking, talked as if he was. And 
He is Bungie. Do you yeah. not know? Caboose, Bungie, whatever. He should, he should get together with our Bungie father. had a baby. <laughs> yes. It was Caboose. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. You, you met our father. He's the only class. Everything Bungie. Bungie. Probably. Maybe not. What is yeah, he? Yeah, he's kind of like generic guy for like characters. Could you chuck the nerd? Congratulations on your generic from Atheist. <laughs> Please I, send I him a special one. Send him nice PS. Everyone else is a knave. <laughs> I'm going to trash this apartment and this knave will laugh when you pay the deposit on it. Bant. Okay, well then back. I already right. told you, you can ban me, that's fine. So I also got to have a great conversation with a bunch of employees, including Akronos. The overlord of budget on that. Sure. Is it Akronos or Akronos? Arachronos. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's Tom. <laughs> it's Tom. <laughs> Hi, Tom. Uh, yeah, it was, it was great to talk to him. He is so well versed in Bungie lore. Like, if anyone knows the Grimoire well, it's him. And I was. You mean Destiny lore then? Yes. What, what? Bungie lore? lore? Oh, did I? Oops. Yeah, he knows where Ling Ling's head is. And, uh, I don't even know where that is. It's in the fridge. Oh, right. <laughs> Where else would you be talking about? Where's Sawfish? <laughs> um, at the year release, Sawfish and Oh. Uh, after that. Whole quarter of the big There was a Viking, yeah, there was a Viking funeral. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Keep getting text messages when you talk to her. Yeah. Hey. Look at you. Yeah. Keep talking. I'm going to read the mother. Probably. Okay. No, it's Pax. But yeah, that was, it was a, it's great to talk to the people who we, want to interact with on the database. Like we are on their site, we are playing their game, mm -hmm. and then just taking the time to talk to them, casual conversation about what they do, what they like. It's a great experience. I think that's a main thing about PAX. Coming here to be a part of both the community and to interact with the development teams. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I don't come to PAX for PAX anymore. Yeah. Um, I, I enforce because I enjoy it, and then I just come here to meet the people. Yeah. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I didn't. I only saw half the expo before. I went to no panels. Um, I did hang out with a lot of community folks, and that's the yeah. main part of this all. And it's not really a knock on PAX. PAX is amazing. Oh, no. PAX is, is the best way for me to do that. It's yeah. just a lot of a lot, uh, more and more bungee people uh, as they come here for PAX to meet the community or come here. To see packs and also the community are just okay. Now I'm just going up to meet, you know, have drinks with everyone again. Yeah, okay. yeah, we have a, such an incredible community. Yeah, like all of us. Yeah, sure, we get angry on the forum and we complain about Thorn half the time, but there is that passion about being a Bungie fan that has always been there since Halo, since Myth, since Marathon, and it's still there with Destiny. People love the game, but they also love the creators and they love talking to each other. It's just such a good experience. Go to one of these conventions, be it Gamescon or PAX or Fan Expo in Canada, I might be there, and just meet the people that you play with online. It's, it's a great experience. I had no idea he looked like this until I met him. But you have to have these moments. Everyone yeah. knows what I look like. I'm on these podcasts all the time. I'm so also on here. The friends know. list has to be Okay, well, okay, I know what I'm there for. Well, what you look like before. Bad example. I did not know what she looked like. I didn't, I didn't know what Jen looked like either. Yeah. Well, she's also not looking. Yeah, it'd be pretty well. Legit. Now I'm gonna forever remember her pouring wine into a drinking glass. Slave lay a wine. Like bring a brandy. Yeah, I'd slave lay a wine. Exactly. Pretty sure Disney would sue you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, probably. Yeah. Anyways, what else do you guys want to talk about? I did get to play Star Wars Battlefront. I did not get to play Star Wars Battlefront. Really at all. Pro tip: If you come to PAX, don't play the game. They all come out relatively soon, yeah. and the line and the controls are sticky. Um, that's a lie because I play. Then you Red play Nos, the games no one cares about. Red Knot, what at East, and it just announced that they might release the open beta in late 2016. Like mother. Okay, so most <laughs> most <laughs> games at PAX like yeah, the big triple A ones, Assassin's Creed, Battlefront. All yeah, those uh, yeah, PAX is not really an announcement. No. Yeah. It, it Pax, may be Pax is get games in people's hands. Uh, with the exception, with the exception of tabletop stuff. They just yeah. want a tabletop card game stuff. Tabletop is just pretty cool. Yeah, it's so not much as that. It's a lot of anime females can't be black. Do you say that like the problem? I mean, maybe that's anime. not the way he swings. That's his own personal. This is Seattle. I personally like Gundam. Those are very attractive. Gundam.
Gundam. That was Gundam. Gundam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Do you sexually oh. identify as an attack robot? <laughs> yeah. I sexually identify as an attack robot with machine gun. Is <laughs> Robo sexual? <laughs> so I have my ghost in my bag. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Dylan. Oh. Alright. I, I think on that note, do you guys any parting wisdom for people that might come to PAX next year? What can you think of? Purell? Yes. Nose plugs, good shoes. Those are good. Uh, do not underestimate the power of Deej's handshake. <laughs> it's like tactical assault. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's going to be. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> really? The one time I shook his hand, it wasn't that. He didn't like it. Probably. Yeah, it's like. It's, uh, like boom, boom. Boy. it's a two same thing. It's honestly, oh, yeah. oh, it's in the truck. Very mechanical. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've practiced. Okay. I've mean, practiced the human dance from Destiny, human male dance, and the D chant shake. Okay. But even the stance, you got a power pose and then boom, boom. Yes. Then, like, you immediately get back to your phone and you get back to your life. Yeah, Twitter. Bungie on that. Reddit. Yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> that was fun. The Trinity. Yeah. How about you, Roland? Any advice? Uh, the Purells. And, well, actually, I discourage Purell. I have never ever caught the Pax Pox until today. And this is the first year I actually took precautions not to catch it. And guess what I caught? It's not fun. It sucks. Don't catch the Pax Pox. So maybe maybe like first day, half a day, you gotta like lick your fingers. You get the, lick your fingers, get the, get, the, get the immunity going. Right. But then you cure all the rest of it. You don't want to overload your system. That's okay. You just so want maybe, to a small weakened version of the virus. Okay, that's maybe it. Try, try to vaccinate yourself the first time. <laughs> oh, and don't order large pizzas. <laughs> hey, I paid for that. Thank you, it's delicious. I offered to chip in, but you're all like, my name's Prometheus, I'm an engineer. Um, I love these. Great man. Make it rain pizza. Make it rain pizza grease. <laughs> we went all around, that pizza was pretty good. Yeah, uh, it was there was the gas money for the way home. And Siphon off that pizza, pour it in your <laughs> gas tank. Yeah, yeah just take the plane for it. The hydrocarbons there to burn a hole through the atmosphere. <laughs> we, we alone uh, created global warming. Yeah. All right. Anyways, um, yeah, I think that's it. I think any longer, and we're just gonna start rambling more than we have been. Yeah, so it's been a rambling today. It's a good one though. Yeah, no. Uh, this is also like the first year that we've done a PAX podcast. Every year, like we talk about it. Last year we tried to do it, and no then, NDAs have been broken in this podcast. And then someone spoke something, no and some NDAs. NDAs may have been broken, so I made the footage disappear. Uh, so for those of you that wondered why I never published it after I promised I would, it's because I had to scrub the whole thing. You hashtag, just you know, saved it from stuff. Yeah. Hashtag, oh totally. <laughs> All the stuff in that is totally out of date now, that's fine. I mean, as far as podcasts go, we enjoyed doing this, it's kind of fun. Uh, but if you guys almost as much fun as Jen is having right now. There's a wine that you can share. Oh, that oh, was oh, 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 so it's not like can't take it anymore. All right, on that note, before any more wine is spilled, let's say goodbye. Oh uh, well, no, when that's if you guys love these, if you guys love these podcasts as much as we love doing them, let us know. Um, if it's something you want us to cover or do, let us know. Yep, and big shout out to our zero viewers right now. We love you. <laughs> we love doing these live. Podcasts. Not even burrito seniors. I know a burrito. A burrito, what have you forsaken us? All right, anyway, yes. and if that wasn't burrito, we apologize. We shout out to whoever you. Thank you, XXX. Milo missed out. Oh, yeah, I didn't morning. see. I handed Milo his badges, and then I never saw him again. Anyways, I saw them. Not hard to do. Bye. Love see you guys. on the Maybe. Maybe. Stop.